All right, so now we're on Don Bong technique number five. And number five, we're gonna use two hands. So this two hand is more like an umbrella block because sometimes we have uh, things like uh, a wrench or something that's a little bit longer and we have to move one way or the other. So we'll use that uh, portion as a blocking uh, mechanism and as a striking mechanism. So we're starting off in this position right here and when he punches, notice that I get off line and drop level. So I'm still dropping level and I am getting off line, so it's like I'm slipping, but I'm gonna take my hands and we're gonna high block. One, now from here immediately, I'm gonna use my hips and we're gonna to go to the ribs and strike with this. And if it doesn't strike with the actual danbong, you can still use your knuckles right here, right to the flowing ribs, right where the liver's at. Now from this position, all I'm doing is coming up, like if we were going for a rear naked choke, but I'm gonna fit my shoulder in I'm gonna take this hand facing me, so my palm is facing inward, my other hand so you can see it, my knuckles are facing outward here this way, so my hands are gonna be doing this, just like if we were doing a gable grip, but now we're holding the staff in a positive negative grip. So again, it's one, both hands facing out, boom, both hands facing out, now one hand's facing out, one hand's facing in, look at my hips coming to his hips, Shoulders in, and then from here, elbows in, and squeeze. Now, for whatever reason, you have longer arms, there is a modification, so I'll show it right now, and we'll do both of them. One, two, three, instead of being flat here, I turn it to where my thumb is up away from me, and I'm using the bottom point, so that way it's a hammer fist point, and then I take this hand, wrap my hand, and same thing, and you pull. And so, that one is great, especially for pins or something that is a little bit sharper. So from this side, one, notice I go off line here, two to the ribs, and then move yourself in quick. And notice that now I have my thumb up or I turn my palm in, whichever one is most natural for you. So we'll start off on this one. I want you to watch the shoulder fit. I come in deep here this way, so I want to be underneath the shoulder. Now one thing that you want to do is somewhat stand up straight, do not put your head down. From this position, if I put my head down, he's gonna get me into a guillotine. If I stand up straight here and still keep my knees bent, there's no way that guillotine is going to happen unless I have a weak structure in my back and in my core. So from here, one, two, and pull, or one, two, and pull, okay? So we'll do the first variation at speed, and then you can work on the second variation on your own. So at speed, ha! and it really, really puts quite a bit on the neck. So you want to be very, very careful with your partner. And this is technique number five for first Don Monk set. Thank you very much.